Hi, I'm field agronomist Jay Zilski, and uh, today it, it, it may not look like field operations and spring planting is just around the corner by the looks of the field behind me, but it'll be here before you know it. And I think there's some important considerations as we go into the spring of 2019, given some of the conditions last fall. In our area here, many normally planned fall nitrogen applications did not take place due to weather conditions last fall. Wet conditions early freeze up, those kind of things. Therefore, there's probably a higher than normal amount of spring nitrogen uh, planned to be applied in 2019. And so I think there's several uh, important considerations as growers go to the field, balancing the importance of getting nitrogen fertilizer applied and planting corn. And so as we look at some of the options that are available, uh, anhydrous ammonia is a, one of the very popular sources of nitrogen, very stable source of nitrogen. When we look at spring applications of anhydrous ammonia, one of the common questions that, that we have is, okay, how long do I need to wait to plant corn following anhydrous ammonia applications? A good safe rule of thumb is to wait, allow five to seven days following that spring anhydrous ammonia application before planting corn. Having said that, if a person is faced with a situation where field conditions are fit to plant corn, it's beyond that crop insurance date, we got to make planting corn a, a priority. And uh, anhydrous ammonia can be uh, safely planted behind uh, immediately or shortly thereafter, uh, provided that there's a it's a good separation between the seed in that zone of that anhydrous ammonia. Typically we figure that zone of expansion from the knife point of that anhydrous ammonia typically be about three to four inch diameter. So what that's telling me is that to maximize safety with those spring anhydrous applications, if you plan to plant immediately afterwards, look at that depth of placement being five inches or greater, and then if you can position or apply that nitrogen at an angle to the direction you intend to plant corn, you'll avoid putting that seed right on top of an anhydrous ammonia uh, knife, knife track. Uh, you know, and, and other options available as well, certainly is a, a side dress application or what's all oftentimes referred to as a blind side dress application where uh, a person goes in, plants corn, and even before the corn has emerged, there's an opportunity to get in and make an uh, application of nitrogen even before the corn has emerged or a traditional si uh, side dress application mid-season. In both situations, one way to buy some time is to use, say, some uh, uh, liquid nitrogen, a UAN as a carrier for a pre-emerge herbicide, maybe 10, 15 gallons a carrier to buy some time before that side dress application. If we're looking at a mid-season side dress application, I always like to target applications being around that, that V6 to V8 time frame, right ahead of a period of peak uh, nitrogen uptake by the corn plant. So that's anhydrous ammonia. The key thing to remember with, uh, as you balance those spring nitrogen applications and the importance of planting corn is that return on investment. And our data over the years through our Groaning Point Agronomy trials has shown that we find an average of an 11 bushel per acre advantage to early versus late planting. So the point being, don't wait around. If you can't, if fields are fit to plant corn, you're, you're at or past that crop insurance date, plant the corn, worry about making that nitrogen application later. Thank you very much and good luck this spring. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.